Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot bringing another Madden 18 defensive tip. I did a video a little while ago uh, saying how to stop mobile quarterbacks, and I said if you guys want to see how to stop uh, screen plays, hit the like button. I'll do that. So that's what this video is about. Um, real simple tutorial how to stop screens. There's a couple different options that are helpful. At the end of the day, uh, being a good user middle linebacker is going to be one of the best ones. But I'll give you some uh, options to really slant it in your favor. We're going to go with the play at the bottom. It really doesn't matter what play you pick, but you typically want to go with a cover two. Uh, I'm going to go with cover two hard. Hard flats because hard flats important too. Um, let's go ahead and let's pick that. We'll go cover two hard flat, and then um, out of three four. It doesn't matter though. You just have to have something in a, in a cover two is really the best way to go. And then on offense, I'm going to pick a play uh, with matching personnel. I have a uh, halfback slip screen here, so we'll pick that. So what I'm going to do here is real simple. I actually want to flip the play. Uh, because I did to the wrong side, but this play I picked it for a reason I picked it for the cover two concept because you typically want your cornerbacks in hard flats uh, And I also picked it because this linebacker here is perfect for what I want to do He's blitzing, uh, but I don't necessarily want him to do that I'll run it just like this with just the hard flats to show you how well it works because of that linebacker blitzing He might get in the way anyway as you can see he gets jammed up on the block uh, But it's really not as successful as I want it to be the guy still makes a big play So the adjustment that I'm gonna make is I'm going to take that same linebacker and I'm going to put him on a man on the running back. Now, the more guys, if I really wanted to, I could also man uh, the defensive end. If I really know that that screen's coming, I can man as many guys as I want. But if I'm not quite sure, um, I'll just put this one linebacker in a man, which is no downside because even if it's a pass play, it's like say, say it's a pass play and the running back's flaring out into the flats or something like that, he's going to cover that and take that away. So it's no, there's no downside to doing that. I lose one blitzer. Unless it's a play action or the running back stays back to block, then this guy's instinct will be to come in anyway as a delayed blitzer. So you still get that blitzing effect. So there's no downside to putting him into a man. Um, and then, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, you really have to pay attention to the lineman pulling. If, if you see, if you're, you have to be a good user middle linebacker, you have to watch. It's just like in boxing. You don't watch the hands, you watch the shoulders. And this one, you watch the lineman, not the running back. So when you see lineman pull, you got to get out and cut off that throwing lane, and that's really the best way to do it. This particular play, a lot of people will throw a play where they want um, you know, you to meet, lose, leave the middle following the screen, and then a receiver will come open over the middle. Well, I have two guys cover my backside, so if I leave and I'm wrong, I still have two guys there to take over the middle. Um, other than that, I mean, you have the option to press, that will help a little bit with these hard flats, but it could get you in trouble if it's not a screen, if they throw somewhere else, because now your safeties are really down the box and they're gonna have a hard time covering. So I wouldn't say that's the best way to go. I would leave them where they are, unless, they, unless like I said, unless you know. If somebody's running a screen over and over and over, you know, and in that scenario, you pretty much just keep manning. You can just keep manning people to the running back if you know it's gonna be a screen. Uh, multiple manned options to the running back is a good way to go. But like I said, you really have to pay attention. Uh, I'm gonna try not to make the play. I'm gonna try to let the linebacker that I manned make the play. As you can see he's in position uh, sitting right there on it. So that's really the most consistent way to do it. If you want to keep the pass rush, you know, you could always man this outside yellow guy. You don't have to man the blitzer. You know what I mean? It's 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 really up to you. Um, but you want to man typically your best uh, linebacker would be the best way to go and I'm gonna let the computer here do it again as they're just chopping it down And then you see Houston gets off the block and makes another play I mean I have a great if you have a great linebacker He's gonna do a much better job of stacking and shedding, but he's gonna be there is the point um, So like I said a lot of people don't know that so we'll go ahead and run one more time and we'll end this video um, Show you how Houston that's actually really good blocking now the cover two corner gets off like I said You want to cover two hard flat and man that combination will have uh, one of those two guys will be there to take away that play. And then like I said, at the end of the day, uh, being a good user and paying attention to that is really the best way to go. This is, this is you know, if you really get on it quick, you can see the quarterback had no chance. He's not gonna throw it um, if, if, you know, he thinks that uh, he's gonna get uh, picked off, especially the computer. Um, but you gotta be smart. If you see that, you wanna undercut the lineman and then bang, where's he gonna go? You know what I mean? If, like, if you cut behind the lineman, you can make the mistake of uh, getting caught up on those linemen. You want to let, it, it, when you user a screen, let those linemen pull out. You want to get behind them. You know what I mean? You want to cut it off right there to the point where the quarterback has nowhere to throw. And that's really the best way to go. I think a lot of people make the mistake, uh, even if they diagnose it well and try to user it, they still get caught up in the line. And I'll show you what that looks like. Like here, you know, now I'm getting caught up by, I'm getting chopped. Got to get anywhere because the cover too hard flat. But you still got to get, you got to let those linemen get out in front of you. You want them, you want the clearest path to that running back and that throwing lane, which is after the lineman pull. So, like I said, right here, like where's he going to go? 
you're gonna throw it right here, you're gonna get pick six. And I have actually picked six screens in the past, um, which, you know, it's like one of the best feelings in the world. So that's it, that's the video. Like I said, if you wanna see more quick tips, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, or let me know in the comment section, I always got more. And that's it, thanks for watching, Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.